This is the Jaguar I-Pace. Some say it's the most revolutionary car Jaguar has ever made. Some say it's the most significant. But what I do know is that this is Jaguar's attempt at the ultimate all-electric performance vehicle. The I-Pace follows a typical all-wheel drive EV layout. Two electric motors at each axle and the batteries sit in between them underneath the floor. So what does that mean? Well, even though this car weighs 2.1 tons, the weight is distributed 50-50 and the center of gravity is low, much lower than that of the F-Pace. So you can almost immediately feel the effects on performance when you put your foot down. You can feel all that weight when going into corners and it should feel pudgy and wobbly and horrible, but it doesn't. It holds itself really nicely and that helps you take a lot of speed into corners. And when the road straightens out, you've got 394 horsepower, 512 foot-pounds of torque, and it's instant and it's pretty much unlike anything else. The Jaguar I-Pace has to be the most decorated production car in recent history. Since its initial release back in 2018, it has collected more than 80 awards. That's 8-0. Amongst many others, it won the award for 2019 World Car of the Year, World Green Car of the Year, and World Car Design of the Year. Let's focus on that last one, design. The reason this design works so well is because Jaguar went back to the drawing board with the I-Pace. They started from zero and that allowed them to push the boundaries in terms of design. For starters, no engine means you don't need all that space at the front. So they moved the wheels further forwards, opening up more space for batteries and the interior. Electric motors don't need as much cooling as petrol engines, so this grill, it's not really a grill, it doesn't even have any holes in it. Its actual purpose is to guide air up underneath the bridge over the cabin and onto the rear spoiler. Everything else is sharp and smooth. It looks so unconventional while looking very much like a Jaguar. And when you want to get in, flush door handles. Unconventional is also the word that springs to mind when you look at the interior. It's so refreshing to see Jaguar gone with a more traditional interior layout for their all electric vehicle, unlike Tesla or Ford who've got this overly simplified interiors with one massive screen in the middle that controls everything. But instead, in the iPace, you get a digital instrument cluster for the driver, a central screen for the infotainment and some EV data, and a secondary screen for climate controls. All the buttons, knobs and rotary dials, they're all very well laid out and even the materials, they feel very nice and posh. The overall interior itself feels very spacious because of the stretch wheelbase and also because of all the natural lights that's coming in, especially from this massive panoramic sunroof that, if you've noticed, doesn't have a cover because it's got some sort of fancy self-tinting tech. Now let's talk charging. This is a 20 kilowatt quick charger, and that is going to allow you to fully charge your iPaces 90 kilowatt battery in about five hours. And anything less than that, and you're looking at well over a day. But don't worry, if you can find a 100 kilowatt rapid charger, you can charge this in 45 minutes or less. But that is if you can find one, because we haven't been able to. So yet again, EV tech is way ahead of infrastructure. Which brings us to another concern, range. With a full charge, the iPace will show a range of over 400 kilometers, but actually range is affected by many things, like the way you drive. So if you keep on stomping on the throttle, brakes, throttle, brakes, it's not gonna take you very far. Also, winter, like right now, isn't very EV friendly because batteries don't work so well in the cold. And talking about winter, if you're cold and you want to use the heater, that is going to cost you about 20 kilometers of range.
In conclusion, I can confidently say all that work that Jaguar has put into this has paid off above and beyond. The car looks daring, futuristic, and it doesn't even try to overachieve. It holds itself nice and stable when you give it a bit of poke around the corners. It even has an off-road mode if you're feeling a bit adventurous. So it's not just a high-tech computer on wheels, there's more to driving the I-Pace. There are some kinks here and there. For example, the infotainment system could be a little less cluttered and lag-free. And there's the occasional creak from the suspensions. So there's still a long way to go, but with the I-Pace, Jaguar is further ahead than some of its competition.